Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola coming to you from Ilori, Nigeria. So here is our newest project. Sorry for the lighting, it's not very good. Um, we have um, a solar pump, water pump inverter. This is running a 10 horsepower inverter. Let me see if you could see the array. Let me go out. So you can see the panels. And this is powering a 10 horsepower water pump. And this 10 horsepower water pump is in the river you will see in the back. I'll take you there and show it to you. So the customer had two water pumps that are mechanical. You could hear a generator in the background that was running the mechanical pump. And they ran this. They started at 8.30 in the morning till 4 p.m. When they left at 4 p.m., they will shut it down. So you could see um, this one here is putting water into the pond and that one is draining from another pond and they had to reduce the flow of this because the pond as you can see is full so let me take you back a little bit so you can see what's going on same setup you can see the flow of water they reduced it and this is the most water pressure they've seen since they started doing this and this is from a one a one ten horsepower submersible pump it's a sewage pump as you could see so there we go so as you could see all the way to where the truck is let me let me see if I can zoom to the truck that is where the first pond is and the water pressure is consistent from the first one all the way to the last one which is this so you can see they reduced the pressure manager Anthony Fula B Alpha. So let me show you what the water pressure looks like so you understand what I'm talking about. So I'll pause it and when it comes I'll show you. So you can see it's reduced, right? And then when it turns it up, you can see how much more is coming out. And this is the last one. And this is coming from the river that's quite a distance from here. From Latibide River and how many meters? Oh, 100 meters. At the other 100 meters. Okay. Hold on. It's going to calculate the pipe for us to determine the distance from the beginning there to the river. This is very complex. The the, the what do you call them? The ponds each drain into one another, and then it drains from there into there, and then goes into the river. It goes back to the river. It's incredible. Very, very sophisticated. So you can see, these are gasoline tanks for the old pumping machine. And you can see bits, the old engines from the old pumping machines. So they don't have to deal with this anymore. Oil, oil tanks, the pulleys to start them. Okay. So we're going to wear the, without me breaking my head, so you can hear um, back there is a generator that isn't want a, a pump. That's someone else. And then back here, sorry for the noise. As you can see, that's what they had before. Shame you wish you Back way, come back. Hold my hand. No, stay there. No, go back. Go down. Okay, I'm trying not to crack my head because I have wheels that are very slippery. Okay, thank you. So sorry for the noise, it's very noisy. So you can see the water going back to the river. So this is what we replace. We replace this. This one every day. So this is for the other ponds that we got we got this here. And you can hear the noise, it's very noisy. Thank you. 
Bogor. And this is our electric pump. We suspect that there may be a problem with this. We're not quite sure yet. So this is our electric pump. Ah, it stopped working today. It was working fine. It stopped working today. So we already made up our mind. We're going to replace it. Um, let me see how far I can get to show you where the submersible pump is. Okay, I'm not going for that on this because um, ankle deep in muddy water. See? So our pump is somewhere back there. Let me see if I can zoom in. Our pump is all the way back there. All the way back there somewhere. It's sitting in about six feet of water. And that's what's feeding that's what's feeding the pond that I showed you where he that's a different pump from this one. Okay, so you can hear the noise. This is what they have to do every day to keep the fish pond going. And they get the water from there. And there are many other people who are running generators to accomplish the same thing. Let me see if I show you. So this is what they have to do. Yeah, what I see, they're running generators. Okay, so I'm going to interview the farm manager and the owner, and then we'll sign up. So, um, hi folks, this is the manager at the farm, and they've been using mechanical pumps for how many years now? Like, the time we are starting yes. this farm here, yes. like five years. They've been using mechanical, mechanical pumps for five years. Please speak a little louder. Yeah, so this is the pumping machine, petrol and diesel machine, like five years. Okay, then. This time. Okay, and what's your name? Abdul Razak Abdul Salam. Alpha Abdul Abdul Razak Abdul Salam. My brother. Of course. <laughs> okay. Um. So, if uh, two months ago, we put in a solar pump for you. Yes, sir. Okay. Could you take us through um, what benefit you've seen, and what you like to see better? So I really appreciate the one way I installed it like two months to this time. Okay. So that reason why it put all me to turn my orgasm, make it had more uh, machine. Okay. To enjoy this farm more than the one way I enjoyed it. Okay. So before, right? Yes. How many hours a day were you pumping using the old pumping machine? What room is six hours? Six hours a day. Uh, six hours or seven hours. Okay, so from what time to what time? Be like uh, eight o'clock or eight thirty to five o'clock. Okay, so is it on from eight thirty to five o'clock? Yes. Show sure, on Lati. Yes. The better day till Takuro. No, no. Until if it the foil be finished. Okay. I'll go put another foil inside. The machine. Okay. So does the foil finish? The, the, like <coughs> each machine go use the, like three and a half hours before you, the foil is finish. Okay. How many liters of foil in three and a half hours? Some three point five. Some three three liters. Okay. So you're using. Every day you're using about six liters per machine. For, by each machine. So the two um, machines you're using nine liters by each machine. Wow. Every day. So the, the two machines you're using eighteen liters every day. Yes, we are okay. using twelve machines. And you have twelve of them. Yes. Sir. Wow. So nine times twelve is what uh, Bunafi. Nine times two eighteen. Nine times one one o eight. So you use hundred and eight liters every day of yes, fuel sir. on this farm. Yes. Sir. Okay. I could do that math somewhere else. Yes. Uh, it's currently 160. Let's say 165. 165 a liter times 108. That's what they use every day in fuel. Yes. So now we brought a second machine in for you, right? Yes. Sir. And that second machine is what's covering the 12 pounds. 12 pounds. Okay. So 18, tell me. 18,000 a day. Okay. So they're using 18,000 naira in fuel every day. Pa. Uh, for the whole, for the whole, for the whole, for the whole farm. Okay. So 18,000 naira a day. 18,000 a day for 46 pounds. Just for fuel, not including repairs or anything else. Or salaries, not just fuel. Okay. So we put a bigger machine in for you. 
okay? And that's the submersible one, right? Yes. What is your experience so far? Uh, if, if that one is, I think like uh, like three days to this time, that one is starting to work. Okay. I really appreciate the work. So it's that was installed like, three days ago? Sir? Three days ago, like you see, like starting that, uh, the, the submersible pumps. Yes. Okay, how many hours a day are you getting from it? Uh, some, be like six to seven hours. Six to seven, just like the old one, just like your regular machine? Yes. Okay, so what time What time in the morning does it come on? We are coming in fun like around eight. Okay, and when you come, is the machine on? I will go uh, put four inside the machine. No, no, uh, on the new machine now. The new machine. Before yes. I reach this farm today, that machine is operating. Inside. And what time, did you, what time did you come to the farm? Uh, we are around eight. So when you came in at eight o'clock this morning, yes. the solar pump was already pumping, pumping was already pumping night, water before, before night. The okay, so when he got here, the pump was running. He doesn't have to do anything. The pump just get, once the sun comes up, the pump starts. The pump starts right, yes. and when the sun goes down, the pump stops. Yes. Was when when do you, what time do you leave the farm? Like four four thirty. So you leave four four thirty, and when you leave, is the pump still on? It's still long. Okay, so the pump is running when you leave. So you come in, the pump is on, you leave, the pump is on. Yes. So if I do the calculation, before you were doing six hours, now you're doing nine, yes. nine hours continuous. And as I showed you earlier, the pressure is substantially higher than what, what? you were seeing before. before. Yes, sir. Okay, well, thank you, Abdul Razako. Thank you, uh, Alpha. Abdul Salam, because you're wearing the Alpha. Okay. See, he's wearing the Alpha hat, so I have to recognize him as Alpha. Okay. So now I'll call Al Haji, who owns the farm, who invited us okay. to come and give us his opinion and why it is he made this decision. Al Haji, good day. Good day, how are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you very much. Nice, we finally got nice to meet. Nice having you at the farm today. I'm very happy to come to your farm. We've been talking for over a year. Yeah, much more than a year. And we finally met. That's right. So, what made you decide that you wanted to use solar on your farm? Well, uh, I think the situation, if one can study the situation of things, especially as it relates to uh, oil and gas, you notice that uh, prices prices of uh, fuel have actually started increasing. I, 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 I initially, you know, when we were talking in October last year, yes. my intention is to put it because I mean prices of fuel will go up. Will go up. Okay. And knowing fully well that uh, we consume close to 108 liters Every which day. comes to about 18,000 naira per month per day yeah, per day yes if you are talking about five five hundred and fifty thousand naira Every per month. month okay now it is only wise that i get something that will provide the same service and uh, the, 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 that won't be relying on petrol all the time or diesel and uh, i will escape price increases from time to time on majority of uh, the fuel, either oil or diesel and things like that. So now what you've done is your cost, your, your monthly cost is fixed as far as pumping water. Yeah. Because you remove the variable which is fuel costs, yeah. service costs, service costs equipment breakdown dinner, costs. And things like that. Okay. So so far you've spent over five million naira. Uh, a monthly? No. To do the solar, you spent, okay, it's about, it's about five you spent over five million naira. Uh, yeah. So when do you think you recoup your investment? Well, because now the investment is covering about uh, 20 pounds yes. out of 46. Yes, so you've covered half of your pounds. Half, half of my pounds. Yes. And that's for me, uh, if I spend the other two pounds, it will be aware. But it then means that on an average, I'm, I will be recouping about 2.5 million. So Every within year. three years. So within three years, you would. One other thing also is now you're getting water even longer. You're getting three, three to four hours more water. More water. So you have healthier fish. Yes. Okay. So and in that case, uh, mortality will reduce, and then they will grow faster. Okay. Because those, those are you remember when I was talking. Those are my my intentions. That instead of rearing fish for six months, you can actually crop at uh, the fifth month. Okay, so you're, save, you're getting the fish to the market one month earlier? Yeah, one month earlier. Okay. And at, at the same time, they are healthier. Okay. They won't kill themselves. Diseases will probably be minimized. So reduction in disease, disease uh, fish that grows faster, faster, fish that's healthier and happier. Yeah, yeah. And tastes better, of course. Of course. So your profit is higher. Well, as you hope so. <laughs> so, you well, at least on, on, on an average, I think the first thing is that, okay, the sun cost is high. No okay. doubt about that. But if it lasts more than three years, 
one would have to cook all this investment. Yeah. Okay, so the solar panels will last 30 years. That there is no doubt on that. Okay. The pumps come with a two-year warranty. Okay. They are cheap enough that replacing them is not that big a deal. I mean, the what do you call it? The, the inverter. Okay. They are the cheap of everything as a cost list. Okay. That's your your smallest cost. Your biggest variable are your pump. Okay. And those pumps, we buy them locally. So now we've had an experience with one pump. We're not sure if it's the pump or the inverter. Okay. So we've decided we're going to continue to do submersibles instead of surface pumps. That's right. Because you're seeing better results from the submersibles. Okay. And we'll get it with smaller pumps as opposed to doing big pumps to try to compensate. Okay. So January we'll be back okay. with a replacement pump. I uh, will bring a replacement inverter just in case. I don't think the problem is the inverter. I think the problem is the pump. Okay. And then we'll do a submersible pump. They run cooler because they're inside water. Inside water. Yeah. And they produce better pressure. That's right. That's okay. Right. So, Alaji, thank you. It was nice we finally met. And I look forward to a long-term relationship with Definitely. you. Definitely. And uh, you can see the whole of this area. Yes. Let's move down here. The other side. No, no, no. The other side of the river. Yes. Are made of all, all fish ponds. Yeah, so the, the secretary of the organization came here yesterday okay. to inquire as to what you were doing, what we are doing, and how effective it is. He saw it; he was impressed. So his comment was like, "How much is it going to cost?" And I said, "Well, I don't know, depending on the number of uh, ton. But if one can carry twelve, it then means you need smaller one for six, right, or four. Because most people would rather have six or four okay. at a particular area. And so if for one reason or the other you have that kind of uh, pump and uh, the association will link up with you. Okay. And with all the other assistance in terms of securing some uh, fin bank loan, financing, yes. financing for their pump. Because the best thing is to take off all the spawns, all all move the noise, yes. The, fish, the, very, the fish don't like no. the noise and the vibration. So, and once everybody is able to do that, it then becomes a lot easier. Or, once part of the proposal of the association might be something they come in group, and then probably one or two, three people can join hand together to probably put the solar panel. Put a big system and then lease space to people to use. I think that's a fantastic idea, and I think that's what we'll explore. Okay. Alaji, thank you so much. Thank you for your hospitality. Thank you for your patience. You're welcome. And this is my first time ever being to Ilori in my oh, entire you life. Get to Ilori, you got to Ilori. You got to Okay, first time in Kwara State. <laughs> okay, okay. So I'm, I'm pretty excited to be here. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Alaji. You're welcome. Eating frenzy. <laughs> 